Road to GH will reveal that Christina is facing one of the darkest and most turbulent times of her life. After the unfortunate death of her child, the immense grief completely shattered her spirit. In the following months, Christina continually sought psychological help to treat her depression and severe mental health issues. However, it seemed that misfortune had not yet let her go. As Christina was trying to recover from this great loss, another crisis struck. TJ and Molly, also devastated by the child's death, decided to file a lawsuit against Christina. They believed she was responsible for the incident and demanded answers. The long, exhausting, and tense court trials not only drained Christina's mental strength, but also caused further strain on her relationships with her loved ones. Nothing seemed to improve, and the lawsuit remained deadlocked. But the storms did not stop there. While the lawsuit remained unresolved, Christina found herself drawn into another nightmare. The case of Sonny being accused of killing John. John's death not only sparked a fierce public outcry, but also made Christina a central figure in the investigation. However, the scariest part wasn't just the events unfolding, but the conspiracy slowly emerging from Rick and Ava. They secretly allied against Christina, using sophisticated tactics to disorient her and push her toward panic. Rick, with his cunning and scheming mind, found ways to make Christina lose control. Ava, who had long had deep conflicts with Christina, didn't just want to escape responsibility, but also aimed to ensure that Christina could not stand firm in court. Their plans were designed to weaken Christina, making her lose her composure and ability to respond coherently. The long days of anxiety and fear gradually made Christina more vulnerable, plagued by sleeplessness and unable to remain as sharp as before. In court, under the pressure of the lawsuit and the presence of adversaries like Rick and Ava, Christina began saying contradictory things, and her testimony became illogical, eroding the court and her lawyer's trust. It seemed they had succeeded in making Christina too unsettled to defend herself. Christina still burned with a desire for revenge against Ava, whom she believed had a hand in her child's death. But now, with Rick and Ava's cunning schemes, Christina no longer had the chance to act on this desire. She was caught in a whirlpool of pain, helplessness, and frustration. Every door before her seemed closed, leaving Christina to watch her enemies walk away unscathed while she sank deeper into an inescapable quagmire. The relentless crises, continuous stress, and ongoing schemes against her made Christina increasingly pessimistic. She no longer recognized herself. The once vibrant spirit was now consumed by pain and anger. Rick and Ava's machinations not only broke Christina's spirit, but also suffocated any chance she had to defend herself in court. The desire for revenge, which had simmered within her since her child's death, had now turned into uncontrollable rage. In Christina's mind, the only way to end her pain was to confront the person who destroyed her life, Ava. No longer believing in justice or the law, Christina decided to take matters into her own hands. The emotions she had repressed for so long finally exploded into action. In a moment of lost control, Christina chose the darkest path. She grabbed a gun and shot Ava, ending the life of the woman she saw as the cause of all her suffering. However, immediately after the act, Christina realized she had gone too far and there was no turning back. Guilt and fear instantly overwhelmed her. Instead of facing the consequences of her actions, Christina chose to run. She quickly left the scene, leaving everything behind and deciding to flee the country. Running away was not just an escape from the law, but also a way for Christina to avoid the torment, torment and anguish in her heart. But no matter how far she ran, the crime she committed would forever be a wound that would never heal in her soul. Christina is now in exile, living in anxiety and haunted by the past, unsure if she will ever find the peace she has longed for. Ava now hovers on the brink of danger, her life threatened by the fatal shot from Christina. All the schemes and plans had ultimately led Ava to an outcome she could never have foreseen. Her efforts to harm Christina, exploiting her weakness to protect herself, had now backfired. No matter how powerful or cunning Ava was, she had to pay the price for her actions. Her life now hangs in the balance, and that is the price she must bear. But even though Ava must pay, this ending brings no satisfaction or relief for Christina. On the contrary, it only brings immeasurable pain and tragedy to her. After the shot, Christina not only lost all faith in justice, but also lost herself. 
From a fragile young woman wounded by life's events, Christina had chosen the path of revenge, but ultimately turned herself into a criminal. The price she had to pay for this action was enormous. Christina not only lost her freedom, but also had to leave behind her homeland, her family, and her loved ones. Fleeing after committing a crime was not just about leaving a place, but abandoning the life she once knew. Christina now lives in isolation, with no family by her side and no place to return to. She is forever exiled, not just geographically, but also within her soul. The pain of her child's death, the cruel conspiracies, and the act of shooting Ava will forever haunt her, like a wound that will never heal. This ending is truly heartbreaking, not only for Ava, who is facing a grim fate, but also for Christina, who has lost everything that mattered most in her life. In the battle between anger and sorrow, both women paid a heavy price, and neither of them truly won.